Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, folks. This is Lindsey Huddleston with Sports Psychology Solutions back in the building at the Moneyball Pro-Am. 16 years in the making, and probably for the five, five plus years, I've been able to see it. This has been my seatmate, you know, right here on that first uh, row that Mr. Forrest Boy is at, uh, Alvin Holloway. How you doing, man? Doing great, man. Yeah, you up in the building, man. I want to say I thank you. Uh, when I was pulling my hair out over the past years, uh, based on what we were doing here at uh, a Moneyball, Alvin was a really good person to be able to talk to because he kind of saw it. Talk about um, what the culture, because one of the things I want to do while we're recording is talk about basketball culture and community, all things that you're very much in engulfed in. And we could talk about some of your family too, but what does the Moneyball program uh, culture meant to you in these years that you've been here, Alvin? You know, it's interesting because a lot of times people look for the big names, uh -huh. but it's always good to see like the local talent. Sure, sure. Some of the cats that, you know, maybe didn't get that big shot, mm -hmm. but you get a chance to see them compete with some of the high class first A caliber names, mm -hmm. and you see that they really, really had talent. Yeah, you see it. When you got a pro coming here, then you got, like you said, a local guy come and do it. I try to explain to people what's great about this atmosphere is that, you know, we're pretty much right on top of people. You know, you're right there. You know, it seems that where we sit right now uh, was like a place that nobody even sat at, but then once we came there, we kind of created a little culture that probably added to the buzz that was going on. So, uh, what makes you determine that you want to come to a Moneyball event as opposed to going to the movie, going for a walk, or anything else? Yo, this is usually the preview who going to have a big year. That's right. That's a good point. I That's mean, think about point. it. Last year, Cash had a great summer. Yes, he did. That's had a, a great point. year. When Denzel came here, he balled out. That's right. Great year. Brent Forbes came here. Great year. Draymond Green. Mm-hmm. Before he had that big year for yep. Golden State. And they got that championship. He was out here killing Now, it. I did say to Mr. Uh, Tom Izzo a few years ago, referring to Moneyball, I said, here in Mid -Mid Michigan, you've created a championship culture because Draymond came and played, and they went and won the national championship, uh, the, the NBA championship that is. Uh, uh, the team came out here and played. The Michigan State team, they went to a Final Four. And I think this is very significant because nowhere are they getting that kind of primer. And even when these guys come in as freshmen, when you're going to see the Malik Halls, the Rocket Watts, this is the Michigan State faithful. You got a lot of season ticket holders who are here, so they kind of get exposed to it. What yeah. do you think? You get that preview. That preview. And also, too, they get exposed to the culture. Mm -hmm. They get a chance to shake hands, rub elbows, mm -hmm. get a chance to really get introduced to the city. Right. Because a lot right. of these guys don't come from Lansing. That's true. Most of them don't. That's a good point. Who so, does? I don't even think we have any with the exception of a Denzel or a Bryn. You don't have local guys. Now, when you talk about culture, talk about that a little bit more. What does culture as it relates to basketball mean to you, Alvin? Man, it means everything. I grew up playing this. Yeah. You know, I'm 44 years old. I still get out there and play. Right. We talk, what do you wear, one knee, rip, knee band <laughs> or two? You know, uh, I agree with you. I agree. But you, that is really important. And maybe that's why we're so drawn to it because we've always been a part of it. And this seems like it's an extension. So do you have any predictions you can give for Moneyball uh, this summer as far as who's going to have a breakout, you know, Moneyball season or, or, or who's going to do what? You know, we were talking about Cassius. Mm -hmm. You know, he should have a whole different swag. Mm -hmm. His whole thing right now, you know. Um, to prove that last year wasn't a fluke. Right, 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 the right. He's getting better. I mean, he's already had court vision. The dribble's mm -hmm. good. Right. But this year is for the naysayers who say he's not athletic. He's not able to take it to that next step. Right. I think this is that year he should show it. He should show it. Do you think that this time with Moneyball, he may be a little so, uh, uh, not pressed to prove anything because he's proved so much? Or to your point that he's like, I got to show you I got more to give? I think he's going to bring more. He's going to bring more. I mean, but Cash is always that guy you, you know, you would never think he's a ball player walking on the court. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. You probably think he could do your taxes, but you didn't <laughs> think he was a ball player coming on the court. This is Lindsey Hollis. We're here at the Money Bar Pro with my good guy, Alvin Holloway. We go way back. Uh, really good guy. Uh, you're involved with some other things. You're an artist to a degree. I mean, you talk about the greatness factor, which is something we see on your social media. Tell me about that. Greatness factor is something that started when I was in um, teaching. Okay. Um, I started off writing a blog just to see some of the things that teachers can bring into the classroom right. not actually in the textbooks. Right. The love and the passion to understand the psychology of children. Mm. How to bring the greatness out of each child. Mm -hmm. I felt like school is a factory that doesn't actually produce a good product. Hold on. That's what we'll go across the screen when we edit the school is a factory that doesn't produce a good product. What do you mean by that? Because a lot of times when kids come in, mm -hmm. you know, we don't bring the best out of them. Right. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's almost like 
we look it's like a basketball team sure we look at our roster sometimes and say oh I got a failing team right right right. you know I can't bring this point guard in here and put them together with that point guard we don't have no guard. talent I hate when coaches yeah. say we don't have no talent we don't, we don't have, have no, no talent. talent that's the reason why so, uh, with the greatness factor, where has it been and where is it going? What's your expectations for it? Well, my expectation to teach teachers how to take what you have and get the best out of them. Okay. To take what you bring in, look at your roster, uh -huh. and make a 90... To be 2004 Detroit Piston team out of them. Oh wow, yeah, because there wasn't much going on. If you look at that team, every one of those guys is rejects. You're right. From their respective teams. Chauncey was a reject. Mm -hmm. Ben Wallace was a reject. Yes, right. Rasheed was a reject. Right. Right. Rick right. was a reject. Right. Tay Tay was a reject. All that. All Very of good them. point. So make that into a championship quality team. Well, you guys, it's Lindsey House. I'm out here at the Moneyball Program. I want to thank our sponsor, Mr. Forrest Boyer, Senior of Securian Financial Services. Excuse me, Securian Financial Advisor. He's going to get on me for that. Of the Great Lakes, but he's been able to help us. What do you, you know, Forrest? What do you think about Forrest? That's my guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forrest is like a dignitary. He is. You shake his hand, you like you shaking money. Yeah, yeah, he's good. He always keep a fresh pack of yeah. gum in his pocket, so you can't go <laughs> wrong with that. You can't go wrong. Well, anything you want to say before we sign off and get ready for some of these games, man? You know, I'm excited to see what's going to happen this summer. I'm mm -hmm. looking forward to seeing Rocket Watts, what he's mm -hmm. going to bring to the game. Right, right. I'm excited. Yeah, good. Well, you heard it here first, guys. This is Alvin Holloway, Lindsey Huddleston, Sports Psychology Solutions at the 16th annual Moneyball Program. Just representing, I want to thank you guys for stopping in, and we'll catch up with you guys soon. Thank you, my guy. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it.